and welcome to Beards and Bitcoins, a crypto podcast for the man's man and the ladies who love him. As always, I'm joined by my extremely, incredibly good-looking co-host, Jay Chains. What is going on, Chains? Tell him what we got in store for him on the show today. Oh, man, things are good. Things are good. Another, uh, another day, another day in the life and quarantine. <laughs> uh, show's going to be good, man. I'm really excited. We're going to talk about uh, a popular video platform that is banning their users for news break, when we get to token time, this is going to be, I think, right now, one of the most popular utility tokens around. Uh, I look forward to, to discussing about this and, the, and, and kind of what it's all about. What you thinking? We actually got a question from a lady listener. Believe it or not, there is actually a lady that listens to the show. I think there may be a couple, but so we've got a, a question from a, a listener. And then on man spreading... It is, it's getting warmer. In some parts of the country, it's already really warm. But uh, some people I know got some snow uh, just the other day. But uh, it's getting warmer. So what is your summertime meat that you're throwing in the grill or the smoker? Yeah, nothing That'd better be than summertime meat. Summertime meat. So get your meat hot. Get your meat on. Yeah, so and we also, guys, we want to tell you guys about something we're doing very special on the show this month for the month of April. So there's a, a few more weeks left uh, in the month where – about halfway done, but uh, we're going to be giving away $10 free in Bitcoin to anyone who reviews our podcast on uh, iTunes. Now, we got to cap it to the first 50 people, so we can't uh, you know, do any more than 50. I mean, that's 500 bucks for this month. We'll have to see what we do uh, for next month, but we really need the reviews to really up the ante here uh, on the show. I like it. I like it. It'll yeah. Be good. So hey, we, we, we want to hear from you. Yeah. We, plus, we want to hear what you think of the show. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Five stars. Five yeah, stars. only five stars, guys. <laughs> <laughs> only five stars. Sorry, if you give us a two-star review, like, you know, I don't think I'm sending you any Bitcoin, okay? I might tell you, like, thanks for the review, and maybe we can do something constructive with that, but, uh, yeah, you're going to need to get that five-star review, at least a four, if you want to really get some money, you know what I mean? I like it. I like it. Four. Yeah. So, all you got to do is go find Beards and Bitcoins on iTunes or on Apple Podcasts, Mm -hmm. And hit that review up. Hit us with that five star, four star. What you know? I mean, don't don't you dare go lower than a four. And you tell us what you like about the show, and then screenshot your review, and then email that screenshot along with your Bitcoin address to info at beardsandbitcoins.com. Uh, and then we will uh, you know hook you up by the end of the month. Uh, like I said. So so we've got we've actually got, we've actually got a link um, for you to use to find the quickest access to your uh, podcast delivery service, just in case you were wondering. Mm. Uh, and and that link, just so you know, is uh, podcast rate uh, rate this podcast dot com slash beards bitcoins, and it'll pull up it'll pull up uh, according to your device all of the uh, services that you can leave a review on. Perfect. So leave us, leave us a review. If you got iTunes, that'd be the best one. Yeah, definitely. So uh, for, for the contest, for giving away the free Bitcoin, we, we only do an iTunes right now. So if you have an Android, uh, you know, you probably need to be taking a look at some of the decisions you made in your life. <laughs> I like that thing that happened on Twitter. Yeah, where, Twitter. Uh, yeah that was good. Yeah, he said, my haircut was not good, uh, the guy said. And so I said, he posted it from an Android phone. So I said, what, what room do you have to talk if you're using an Android, okay? Come on, guys. This is America, okay? If you live in a poor country, Androids are fine. But this is America. Get yourself an iPhone. Let's be for real. <laughs> you're darn right. That's how I feel about it. Well, anyways, guys, let's, uh, let's check out. The, don't forget to hook up the contest, guys. Make sure you guys get your $10 free in Bitcoin. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about a place that holds Bitcoin, which is the sponsor of the show. Uh, Beards and Bitcoins Crypto Podcast is brought to you by Monarch Wallet. Rule your own financial kingdom from the palm of your hand. That is right, sir. The team at Monarch is working hard to bring you the one app to access all the best crypto services. And they believe in delivering tech, not hype. Yeah, with the universal decentralized Monarch Wallet, you can buy, store, spend, and earn crypto. With Monarch Pay, you can set up and accept recurring crypto payments. That's pretty cool. Uh, so if you need more information, uh, make sure you check out monarchwallet.com or monarchtoken.io today. Uh, and it's in both app stores. So just search for Monarch Token, I believe, and uh, Monarch Wallet, and it'll pop up. And you can download it and use it and store your Bitcoins. Absolutely. Well, let's, uh, let's move on to another platform uh, in Newsbreak. Newsbreak. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today for Newsbreak, we are going to be talking about a social media platform that is banning its users uh, and, and creators on the platform, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, the good thing is, is that we've got an insider in the, ins- in the situation because our man right here, he's, <laughs> he's got a YouTube channel. I do. I actually do have a YouTube channel. Uh, most likely you're watching it right now. Oh, that's probably a good point. That's probably a good point. I do have a YouTube channel, but I want to talk about what happened this week uh, with a good friend of mine, uh, Jason Appleton, a.k.a. the Crypto Crow. Mm -hmm. Now, I I will say this, everything ended up being fine, and that's what we usually end up seeing, you know, in in crypto with YouTube is that for the most part, YouTube does end up correcting a lot of these problems. But all of a sudden, he goes to his to his uh, Telegram group last week, and someone says, hey, your YouTube channel is gone. Now, keep in mind, Crypto Crow, he's got about 80,000 subscribers. Uh, He is actually the creator of a large Telegram group that a lot of the crypto influencers are in, um, that I'm an admin of. So, like, he's done a lot of good stuff for the space. All of a sudden, his YouTube channel was completely gone, and he was freaking out. He had never even had a warning before uh, on his channel. And it was definitely a very scary thing for him, for him. And we're seeing that this is something that's really happening in crypto a lot, which is people are getting strikes or getting their channels removed. Now, eventually, he did get it back. But, you know, why is crypto one area where it seems like we're targeted more than, than any other place on YouTube? I mean, I'm sure there's got to be some kind of suppression from some organization that really doesn't want it to succeed because if it does then the people take the money back and the government doesn't want that to happen but i mean like logistically you really think that someone is at youtube saying like we can't we can't have these crypto youtubers here like we got to get rid of them like you think that's actually happening oh i'm sure there's someone some advisor somewhere that says that to him <laughs> absolutely don't you think so i don't know i think that's I why know. it happens so much i mean i so <clears throat> Sorry, my Rona. He has the, uh, he has the Rona, y'all. I got the Rona light. Um, I, I think that there has to be some kind of crazy algorithm that's flagging this stuff and is flagging it for a reason. I mean, there's just too many videos for someone to be sitting back there watching it. I'm sure that there's, there's some kind of buzzword that's getting triggered that's pulling these things, right? And I don't know much about YouTube. That's what I think. I mean, I, I think that, well, you're a big YouTube star on my channel once a week. <laughs> no oh, way. Well, you know, the thing about it is, is like, I think that's right. I think it is just that there's something that's triggering these videos. The video that uh, Jason had made that got triggered, that the, the got his channel removed, uh, was about the capital gains tax, of all things. That's interesting. Yeah, so there doesn't seem to be really a rhyme or reason. And what some people think is that there's actually an attack on, uh, not coming from YouTube itself, but from coming... Uh, coming from scammers that are mad that, you know, people have legitimate YouTube channels and they want the legit ones taken down so they can push their uh, their scam YouTube channels, which what they do is, it amazes me that people fall for this. They'll be like, uh, Charlie Lee giving away 1,000 Litecoin. All you got to do is send them Litecoin and then he'll send it back to you, just like what we used to see on Twitter with uh, Ethereum the scams. Ethos, yeah. yeah, but what these people do is they set up these live streams where they have bots that are making comments in the live streams to make it look like people are in there, but there's nobody on there. And then they're having like a, a pre-recorded interview of Charlie Lee or whoever it might be. And people all the time are coming in my Telegram group and like asking, hey, is this legit? Is Charlie Lee really giving away all this Litecoin? I'm like, no, what? <laughs> no, no, he's not. Yeah. And so it seems like there's like a battle between the people that are legit and then the, the people that are the scammers. They're... They're flagging all the regular YouTubers because they know that we're talking about it and exposing it. And then they're, you know, we're, we're obviously reporting all their channels every time they try to do it. Here's the funny thing to me, though. This is what I, I wonder. I wonder if a lot of these scammers that are running these live stream scams and that we're doing the ETH giveaways, I wonder if they're regular people on crypto Twitter that we know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? I think it's it like, probably is. That's nutty. I mean, what do you think? I mean, you think it's just somebody that never goes to crypto Twitter that runs it? I mean, it makes sense as somebody that would know, you know, like maybe YouTube or, uh, you know, listen, for someone to do these Bitcoin, Litecoin, you know, 
Coinbase live stream scam live stream scams on YouTube, they have to be really familiar with cryptocurrency and with YouTube. That's a good point. That's so, a really good point. So if you're front one of our friends and you're a scammer, piss off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no, no question about it. You suck. Well, let's talk about a coin that is definitely not a scam. Token time. Token time. All right, so for token time today, we're going to cover one of my favorite coins. I've been pushing it everywhere. You guys know. Uh, we got a pretty exciting announcement for uh, the channel today for the uh, for the podcast about uh, this token. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about MCO, CRO, Crypto.com, uh, definitely a, a project that's out there uh, pushing for adoption. What, what do you know about it, Jay? Uh, well, I, uh, I am a big fan of the, uh, of the platform. Uh, I think it's probably my, uh, one, of, one of the more, I wouldn't say exclusive, but uh, definitely my, my best choice for um, kind of what I'm doing and my strategy with crypto right at this point. Uh, I love the earn feature, like love, 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 love it. It's been like fantastic through this uh, kind of crazy market, right? Like I'm not losing any money. Like obviously the value fluctuates a little bit here and there, but with the earn feature, um, I mean, on any one of the tokens, I mean, the CRO token, the MCO token, like both of them, like you earn pretty good. Um, like right now I'm, I did the three month lockup for a couple coins uh, and it's great. It keeps you from selling too, which is like one of the, probably the most fantastic things about it. Oh, you, it keeps you from jumping in and out of coins too much. Yeah. Which is great yeah. for me. Cause I'm like, I sometimes will buy the top. So, um, <laughs> it's good to just, <laughs> it's good just to sit and hold and earn, man. Like, uh, I, I love the platform. I love like the, the way that it looks is slick. I think it's professional. I think crypto.com, you know, like you can't like, you can't beat the domain. Yeah. Like they're, no, you, oh. like they're you. I remember when they bought it, they paid millions of dollars for it. From Monaco, right? No, Monaco is crypto.com. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot what they bought it. They bought it from somewhere kind of weird. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I mean, I didn't know they were going to rebrand to make their name crypto.com. But I mean, I, I've been working with, with them for a while. And we actually have a, uh, a new link if you guys want to get the card through the podcast instead of through, uh, you know, my channel. And if you're listening, I would love for you to do it for the podcast uh, as well. That way, you know, uh, J Chains over here can you know, stay within done. the shadow of my clout. Okay. <laughs> stay within the shadow of my clout and he can make some monies and feed his families and treat his Corona. Uh, so uh, tell him, tell him what the new link is, uh, Jay. So if you wanted to, uh, to do that, you just got to head to, it's a mco.beards.live. That's right. Real easy, real easy. mco.beards.live. Super, super, super easy. Some people may say. Uh, but let's look at some sometimes, of the numbers. Some, sometimes that make that Corona makes you blind when you're looking at your <laughs> note sheet. Hey, they say that Corona makes you do crazy things. Uh, are, are you feeling psychological effects? Probably, man. I think I, I had a bad day today. Like to be perfectly honest with you, like I was like r really grouchy in a bad mood today. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that Corona? Is that right? Well, you know, Chris Cuomo has it uh, from CNN, and he did a podcast or a radio show or something today. He's like a big anchor. He's their main primetime guy, you know, outside of Anderson Cooper. And he was just talking about how much his job sucks and he hates it. And he's like, I don't think I'm going to go back. <laughs> I, I saw that. Like, that was awesome. I was just like, man, like that's, I think it, it does crazy stuff to people for real though. Um, but let's look at some of the numbers on uh, crypto.com on, uh, we're looking right now, uh, CRO and MCO are two different coins. CRO right now is coming at number 18 uh, and it's at about five cents. And uh, it's, it's, like I said, coming in, it's in the top 20. Now, MCO, I think, is in, what, like about the top 50? That's uh, number 53. It's coming in right now. It's uh, 5 bucks 11 cents. Yeah. So I've done a review on the two different tokens. Like, they, they do different things. One is, like, kind of the internal token of the app itself. And then the other mm -hmm. one is, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, a, a staking token. How much money are you earning with uh, Crypto.com? Like what's, uh, what's, what's a percent on the, on the tokens? I want to say like with, uh, the, the CRO token is like 14% or, it's pretty um, good. it might even be higher than that because I'm doing the, and no, I didn't do the, uh, the stake cause there's like a man. There's an 18% option. I think 
Somewhere. There is, but you, but you gotta like, I think you gotta be staking. My phone's all screwed up right now. Yeah. Uh, I, I dropped it today. Um, I, whatever it is, maybe it's like 16% or something like that, but I'm not, yeah, but I'm not doing the stake with the MCO when I did it. I didn't do it at the same time, uh, yeah. when I staked them. Um, but so it's like 16% or something like that on the three month. Yeah. Well, I think, I, I think crypto.com is only going to continue to get bigger and bigger. I mean, they're, they're doing so many things. They just got a partnership with ledger. Uh, which is really big. I think you can pay for your ledger with CRO now or MCO on the ledger website directly, which I don't think they do that with any other, uh, you know, coin. Maybe they do it with Bitcoin, but whatever it was, it was a really big announcement. And you know, what's really cool is, is they're giving back, uh, I think it's 10 or 20% if you, like on DoorDash or groceries or something like that. Did you oh. see that announcement? Yeah, that's cool, man. That's like, like right now, like that's huge. Like all those companies right now are just like, I guess, Certain. And, and you know, they're still hiring and like, you know, they're, they're taking people on because they want to, uh, they want to be the ones to help people out while they're doing some things. So it's, uh, it's like 16% right now in the CRO tokens and I'm getting 4% on link. Nice. Yeah. 4% on link. So that's it's com compounded gains when it's going up like it has recently. Well, uh, listen, guys, if you want to go uh, sign up for the card, make sure you guys head on over to mco.beards.live. Uh, get a crypto.com account. You can get $50 for free. Um, and we'll get 50 bucks. You'll get 50 bucks. That means 25 for me and 25 for Jay. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe we'll do something. That's a beautiful thing. Maybe we'll do something where whoever has the longest beard will get the most. Because right now, you're barely ahead of me, I think, right now. That's true. That's true. That's true. So, all right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's check out a question from the audience. What you thinking? All right, today on what you thinking, we've got a question from a female listener, a lady listener, a lady crypto lover, uh, wanting to uh, ask us a question. So let's hear what uh, see what she says. Hey guys, love your beards. Got a quick question for you both. With the crypto industry pretty much made up of men, what advice or what would you want to say to women and girls looking to get into blockchain and crypto? Um, whether it be as a developer, content creator, trader, or some other segment of the industry. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Thanks so much. We love your show. Keep it up. Well, I, it's a great question. Uh, thank you, Wendy, uh, for the question. This is not Crypto Wendy O, by the way, if you wondered who's, who's calling it. It's a different Wendy. It's not the same Wendy. I believe uh, it was a Wendy Martinez. Wendy Martinez uh, coming in hot with the, with the question here. And I, I think that my biggest advice to a, a woman or like a young girl who'd want to, you know, maybe pursue like, you know, education and blockchain or whatever it might be, is just do it, you know, just jump into yeah. it, you know? I mean, there's, there, there, there's a lot of male dominated industries out there, but look at, like, look at, I mean, there's a female coach in the NFL now, you know, not a head coach, but there's female coaches in the NFL and, and, you know, a lot of industries, they do start off male dominated for whatever reason, but over time it kind of evens out. And I mean, if you I mean, look, look at, look at, look at Binance US, you got Catherine Coley, the absolutely. CEO of Binance US. I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at what she's doing, you know, follow, follow her, you know, talk to her, send her notes. I know that, you know, if you're on the Binance US telegram, I think that she's on there that she talks to people. Uh, yeah. I know that she talks to people on Twitter. So uh, that's probably a, a good bit of inspiration for any young ladies or ladies of any kind. Yeah, she's funny too. I love Catherine. She's awesome. Uh, did you see that dan that video dancing at the uh, NBA All Star game? Yeah, I did. What's wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> Does she have a TikTok account? I need to know. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's the best advice: is just jump in and do it. Figure out you you need to figure out what area you want to get into. Like, do you want to get into coding? Do you want to get into programming? Do you want to be an influencer? You know, do you want to be a trader? Whatever it is, there, there's opportunity for you everywhere. And I will say this, if you do want to get in on the social media side of things, like it is, it is much easier to grow account, to grow an account as a woman than it is as a man in, in the space. Uh, and, and the reason is, is not because, I don't think it's because like you have to show skin or you have to do this, or you have to do that. I think but it's bikini mainly- shots, big, Bikini pics never hurt you. That's, you pick a few thousand, you get a few thousand followers. <laughs> Well, look, I, I didn't say it, okay? Jay, Jay said that. So y'all can report him to the Me Too movement. But what I'm saying here <laughs> is that there just aren't that many, so they stand out more. You know, if you're looking, if you're like on Trader Twitter and you see like post after post after post is dude after dude after dude. So if, if there's a, a lady in there, it stands out, you know? And, and I think it makes it much easier for you to catch attention. You don't have to 
show skin or do something, you know, uh, you know, crazy like that. It, it's all about the fact that, you know, if you bring value to the space, people are going to notice you easier um, in, in a completely male dominated, uh, you know, area or whatever it is. It's not Hollywood, baby. There's no casting couch. No, there's no, I don't know. I've heard some stories, uh, but uh, <laughs> not involving me though. That's what I'll say. Not, not involving me, not involving me. Uh, but I, I do think though that it is, you know, important to just put yourself out there and figure out wherever you want to go and, and where you want to fit in and then just, just do it. I mean, it's just like any other person that would want to jump in. So I would, yeah. Jay, do you think at some point we will see the wall of, of male dominance in crypto fall at some point? I think, yeah, why not? There should be. Yeah. yeah. It's all a bunch of nerdy uh, incels. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's even the, let's even the game a little bit. Women are smart, man. Women, they're, they're better at a lot of things that we are. Absolutely. Absolutely. They, they certainly are. I know that. I, I know my wife does stuff I can't do. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, thank you so much for a question, Wendy. And if you guys want to ask us a question, make sure you guys head on over to ask.beards.live and you can uh, drop us a question on our contact page uh, right there. We got a new website up too. So I hope you guys uh, are, are enjoying that. Pretty. It's pretty and fresh, fresh. Very, very pretty. It is absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's be dudes for a minute. Man spreading. All right, so for Man's Brain today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things, meat. Mm -hmm. I love meat. I actually got some ham in my refrigerator. I'm about to go raid here in just a, a few minutes. But <laughs> it's not smoked. It is not smoked oh. ham. It's just some ham. We bought it Aldi. We cooked it. My wife did a killer job. It was really, really good. But we all know, like, some smoked meat is really, really good, barbecue, whatever the case may be. And when I went to Austin, Texas, and we hung out last year, which I got to get back there as soon as the air, you know, we can fly again. Uh, it's probably we, like, it's probably like a year ago, like around this time. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's right at a year ago. It really is. Yeah, actually, almost exactly, I think. Crazy. I got to find one of those koozies from the, uh, from the event. Yeah. I don't remember the date. It was probably like right around this time, though, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. And we ate some meat mm. while I was there. Mm. It was so good. Oh so good. God. Remember, what was that the bison rib or whatever? The bison rib. It was killer. But my, but my favorite story from that entire weekend, well, other than finding out that you were the proofreader for the white paper for Bitcoin. <laughs> um, uh, that's another story, though. My favorite story from the whole weekend was the first day when I got there to Austin. Uh, we went to, uh, you came and picked me up. We went straight to Franklin's. I was like, where is this guy taking me that we got to wait three hours in line to eat food? And you're like, no, nah, trust me, it's worth it, it's worth it. So we went, we, we went to Franklin's a Barbecue Place in Austin. We waited. How long did we wait, really? Like probably three hours, huh? Yeah, probably about three hours. I think you came in about uh, 8.30 or so, and yeah. the line started moving about, about 11.30 or noon. Yeah. And we got in there, and we were chowing down. But my favorite thing was I had a, a rib, and I was eating the rib, and the, the meat <laughs> – literally fell off the bone and it splashed in the barbecue sauce underneath <laughs> where I was holding the rib and it splashed all over the guy next to me. And so the guy, the guy turns around, he's got barbecue sauce all over him and he looks at me and I'm just holding the rib with no meat on it. Just like, <laughs> like it just fell right out. I forgot all about that, man. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. That was so funny. But uh, yeah. So what, what do you think, man? What, what kind of meat are you trying to, trying to grill out this summer? Cause we're going to all have to be grilling out. We got nothing else to do. You got nothing else to do. I actually just, uh, I just smoked a whole chicken this past weekend and it was delicious. I got this, uh, it's funny. So I just, we moved a couple few, like a few months ago at the end of last year and I had this old stereo system and it's not going to work with the new house because we'll do the one in the ceiling and stuff. Yeah. And so, uh, I put it up on Craigslist and some dude bartered me for a smoker, brand new smoker in the box, a little like portable one, you know, those little green propane tanks that you go camping yeah. with and stuff. It runs on that, or you can throw it on a 20-pounder. Uh, I just got to get an adapter or whatever. So I threw a whole chicken in there. Dude, this thing was perfect. Now, I can't wait. My favorite is a brisket. Uh, I mean, a brisket or a pork shoulder I, and or sausage. I can't you really love, decide. You love sausage. <laughs> you love sausage more than any person I've ever met. That's not fair. What's not fair? <laughs> I know it's true. You love Jay Chains loves sausage. That's all I'll say. At the barbecue joint. Yeah, smoked sausage. Why do you feel like Absolutely. you had to point that out? 
<laughs> yeah, you're a funny guy. Funny guy over here. What I mean, is it false? No, oh, no, that's a true statement. That is it a, is very a true, true statement. statement. That's one Everywhere of my we things went to get it. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere we went, he was like, "Where's a sausage?" You know. Uh, every so. every barbecue restaurant that we went, yes. Well, those two, right, yeah, those two. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just want to make sure that we clarify, just just so we can be be clear. Well, now, what about you? What uh, what do you what do you smoke in this uh, this summer? Well, I mean, I love to, to cook out a good steak. You know, I I, I I like to grill out a good steak. I mean, it's hard to really beat, uh, you know, a, a steak. But I mean, some pork ribs. You, you can't go wrong with pork ribs either. That's true. There's so many good options, man. Like you really can't go wrong. Yeah. I think if you were to say like, what's my, what's my favorite barbecue, like style of barbecue, I would definitely go with, with a uh, shredded pork. But when I'm Ooh. grilling on the steak or when I'm grilling outside, like I'm, I'm throwing a, a nice steak. I, burgers are great too, but I, I say, you know, I like to throw a good filet on there. A good, Ooh. you know, sirloin, whatever it might be. And just cook that mug up, put seasoning on it. You're the thing about grilling is you're really in control of that thing. You know, yep. it's, it's, it's a man against a fire. It's a and man against a fire. And you're in control, especially Absolutely. if you know what you're doing. Have you ever, do you know the, the there's a thing uh, about cooking temperatures of steak. It depends on how you pinch your fingers. Yeah. Uh, wait, pinky, wait, no, is it, pinky, isn't it, isn't it like, it like you press your thumb or something? It's what, so you, you, you touch like your thumb and your fingers together and yeah. that's the doneness of a steak. So when you touch your pinky, it's real firm. That's a well done. When you touch your index finger, that's like a rare steak. Ooh. So depending on like the your hand meat, like that's like the stiffness of what a steak should feel like. I love hand meat. Stuff. Hand meat is it. some of the best meat out there. If you had to, if you had to do that to survive, would you, would you eat human meat? Uh, it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's questionable. It's questionable. If somebody else cooked it, I might could. <laughs> Oof. I don't Oof. know if I could cook it though. I don't know if I could. Like you, you, you know what's funny is these used to be like really hypothetical questions, <laughs> but now <laughs> with what's going on in the world, I mean, you really might have to weigh this out at some point one day. You know, like you never thought think you would be thinking about things like this, but I mean, I we're not I, there I, now. But you know, oh what I'm man, saying. yeah, but the end of the world is it's closer than you ever thought it was. That's for sure. Or like, not the end of the world. That's probably a little extreme. Um, well, do you know society? Do you know about this uh, volcano at Yellowstone? No. Okay, so there there's a super volcano at Yellowstone Park. This is true. This mm -hmm. is not this is not an urban legend, not a conspiracy. There's a literal super volcano underneath Yellowstone Park, and in the history of the world, uh, two of the three largest volcanic eruptions in history, billion years or whatever it is. Uh, were the Yellowstone Park super volcano? If if it blows, it would it could have the potential. If it blew to the size that it has before, it would actually cover the entire United States in volcanic ash. What? Yeah, yeah, it's not. It, it also depends on what time of year. Like if it blew in January, it would cover the whole United States. For some reason, if it happened in like the summer, it wouldn't be quite as bad. But I would still get covered where I'm at, no, no matter what. Uh, three inches of of ash it would destroy like half the united states that's crazy to think yeah and it hasn't exploded in i think what like six billion years something like that or six million years something how like that know, how do they know that they can just carbon date things yeah carbon date or whatever the biggest the biggest volcano eruption ever in history was in indonesia and it was so bad it caused a 10-year winter whoa that yeah. sucks yeah it, but uh. my whole point is this is humans have only been around for like a really small segment, like modern humans have only been around for a very small segment of history. And we've never dealt with one of these crazy giant natural disasters. And I think really what this, this whole epidemic we've been, or pandemic we've been going through recently, it really just shows you how fragile everything is. It was crazy to think, you know, like the earth's restoring itself. You know, there's like marine life like coming back into the canals in venice italy yeah i don't i just saw something on the tv today it was a it was a like a satellite image from some whatever um like air quality organization it's like the air around new york and like the whole metro area from like boston down to like uh the carolinas or whatever like it's healing itself like you know like the like it's not as purple like i don't i don't yeah, remember I what everything was but 
you know, like it's like it's like the the Earth's healing itself, like while we're all stuck inside. Yeah, it's interesting. It is interesting, but you know, while the Earth is healing itself, it's very important that people like you and me step up and uh, destroy the animals on it. So we want to know for our poll this week what <laughs> you're going to smoke. <laughs> that we was wanted, awesome. Was, that was maybe my best segue. So That was amazing. That was an amazing segue. I was at the edge of my, I was at the edge of my seat, <laughs> just so you know. So, guys, we want to know on our poll for this week, we want to know what you're going to be smoking, what you're going to be grilling. Is it going to be, chi- uh, be chicken, fish, beef, or pork? Yeah, no veggies. I know that no, you're not a veggie no. guy, so. No. Screw veggies, dude. I would never. So if you're a vegetarian, just pick fish. If you're a vegetarian, you're probably not listening to this show. That's a good point. I don't know if you made it through the whole meat section if you're a vegetarian, but. Uh, if you did, let us know because we like, just want to know. Yeah, we want to know who the vegans are. I mean, send us your IP address, punk. There's, <laughs> don't be mean. There's vegans and vegetarians. We know the difference. And pescatarians. Yep. And fruitarians. I don't know if there is such a thing. I think they are. I read this to the fruitarians. They will only eat fruit that falls naturally from trees. They will not pick it. The, how, That's true. How could you do? Why would you want to do something like that? You don't want to destroy the earth. You don't want to hurt a plant. I mean, if you're, could, if you're, if you're pulling the fruit off the plant, you're hurting the plant, you know? God, give me a break. Like, how could <laughs> this, how could you, like, how could you be that, like that type of person? It's crazy, but they're out there for sure. They are. Sorry out there if that's sure. you. Sorry if, <laughs> if you're listening and, and that's you. I apologize. I should be more sensitive. <laughs> God. No, it's, the corona. It's, it's the Corona. It's a Corona. I've been cuomo You've been cuomo <laughs> He's losing his brain. Uh, but all right, guys. Well, that is, uh, that's all we got for the show today. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening to Beards and Bitcoins, uh, the crypto podcast for the man's man and the ladies who love them. Each week, we are bringing you guys news, information, and stories to spread awareness about cryptocurrency. That's right. And if you enjoy this episode, please, like we said before, uh, visit uh, ratethispodcast.com. Uh, slash beards bitcoins to leave us a rating and review uh, it'll take us take you right to uh, the easiest one for you again itunes is the best and please help us spread the word by sharing your favorite beers and bitcoins podcast episodes on your social media that's right and don't forget to visit our website beards and the newly revamped beards and bitcoins.com or make sure you guys join our telegram group uh, t.me slash beards and bitcoins So that's all we got for today, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the podcast. See See you guys next week.